Sean, give me the ball. You don't know what Gangnam Style is? By Psy? Is it bad? I don't know who he is either. Oh my god. That's a disgrace. I'm done. Shaking my head. What? You don't even know who Psy is? Well, I'm not gonna lie and say I do. We know. And we respect you for saying that's the truth. However, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get you and all the other viewers out there hip to Psy. Okay, but on one condition. What's that? You can't make me feel weird about this whole side thing. You don't gotta worry about that. You good, you good. All right. Open Gangnam Style. Park Jae Sang, also known as Sai, was born on January 31st, 1977. He was born in South Korea and grew up in the Gangnam District of Seoul. In 1996, he came to the United States and was enrolled at Boston University. Sai always had an ever-loving passion for music, so a year later, he had switched schools. Sai switched to Berklee College of Music in Boston, where he went to study music. Freshman for four years, class was too early for me, he said. While he was there though, he was classically trained in music. He never really thought that was enough, so he dropped out to focus on his career on his own. During an interview with the Wall Street Journal, he said, I rarely went to school. At that time, I seriously doubted that you could learn creativity in school. Music isn't something you can just learn from other people. During the time Psy dropped out of school, he claimed he became more creative. He loved listening to artists such as Eminem and Tupac. With them as his inspiration, he became a hip-hop musician. Psy has stayed in the United States until 2000 where he decided to go back home to become a recording artist. In 2001, he released his first album, Psy from Psycho World, and a second one in 2002 titled Psy 2. Both albums went through controversies and criticisms saying there was inappropriate content, foul lyrics, bizarre dance moves, and more. However, he released a third album in 2002, which included his first hit single, Champion. A year later, in 2003, something got in the way of Sai's music career. Sai had to go for two years of mandatory military service until 2005 because it was imposed on all South Korean men aged 18 to 35. Sai skipped out on his two-year compulsory service, therefore, he was redrafted for a second term in 2007. He was released in 2009. During that time, he escaped out on his military service and was recalled. Sai got married to his girlfriend, Yu Hee Young, and had two twin daughters, with her are currently four years old. After his marriage and release from the military service, Sai joined YG Entertainment in 2010 and got back to the work with his music career. In 2012, Sai released an album called Sai's Best Sixth Part 1. This is where the turning point comes in. This album includes a song which rapidly increased Sai's celebrity status. A song that made this album a best-selling album. A song that changed our lives. Well, most of our lives. Forever. That song was titled Gangnam Style. Open Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. Op, 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 op. Gangnam Style was inspired by the Gangnam neighborhood that he grew up in. Gangnam Style made Sai stardom reach new heights. He posted his music video on YouTube on July 15, 2012. Because of its catchy tune and contagious dance moves, stimulating writing of course, Gangnam Style spread all over the world. Gangnam Style set the record for most viewed video on YouTube with over a billion views, a record that used to be held by Justin Bieber with his music video, Baby. Gangnam Style also made its way on the number one on iTunes music video charts, and the song itself was made onto the Billboard's Hot 200. Because of how rapidly Psy's popularity increased, he was asked to be interviewed on CNN in August 2012. That is where Psy began to make several public appearances and performance of Gangnam Style, from teaching Britney Spears and Ellen DeGeneres on LA to performing a mashup with MC Hammer to performing for President Obama at the White House Christmas concert. Sai also performed his hit single at Hot Spots in Las Vegas. He was reported to make 600,000 per gig. Of all of the performances and solid albums, Sai was able to make good money with Gangnam Style. Our Sai announced on MTV News that he was going to retire Gangnam Style after performing it on Dick Clark's New Year's Rocking Eve 2012 in Times Square on January 31st, which happened to be on the same day as his birthday. Sai said Gangnam Style was becoming too popular. 
which made sense because it really was. Some people even heard the sound so much that they found it annoying. Like this one guy I know. Every time he got on the car with one of his friends, they had Gangnam Style blasting on the radio. And you know what he did? He yanked this. Okay, off topic. Anyways, to wrap it up, Sai's last performance with MC Hammer surely was a performance to remember. Even though the Gangnam Style era is over, Sai's retirement of Gangnam Style also doesn't mean he doesn't have anything else up his sleeve for his fans. Sai is currently working on his next album, Sai's Best Sixth Part 2, which could possibly be another best-selling album because he said he is working on another smash hit. Whatever song that may be will be included in this album as it releases later this year. Sai isn't ready to let go of his fame yet, for he is continuing to make music with surprises up his sleeve throughout his audience in the future.